Hello, Jim Hutchins here for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report. Well, last Thursday, November 29th, <coughs> the Palestinians made their bid for statehood before the United Nations here in New York. Well, they didn't get statehood. They got what was referred to as non-member status. But they think it's statehood, and they're promoting it around the world as having statehood. It is not that. But uh, they're going to um, uh, live on that, and they're going to hype that wherever they can. Exactly what did happen? Well, frankly, exactly nothing. It's still the same on the ground. The facts of the ground stand. But Israel had some comments about this as well. For example, I was especially pleased to hear the comments of the Israeli ambassador to the UN, Ron Prosser. He said, today I stand before you uh, tall and proud because I represent the world's one and only Jewish state, a state built in the Jewish people's ancient homeland, with its eternal capital, Jerusalem, as its beating heart. There's only one route to a Palestinian statehood, and that route does not run through this chamber in New York. That route runs through the direct negotiations with Jerusalem and Ramallah, that will lead to a secure and lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians. There are no shortcuts. There are no quick fixes. No instant solution. As for the <clears throat> rights of the Jewish people in this land, I have a simple message for those gathered in the General Assembly today. No decision by the UN can break the 4,000-year-old bond between the people of Israel and the land of Israel. Strong words. Glad words to be heard. <clears throat> this was at the UN on, uh, on last Thursday. This past Sunday, Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, at his weekly cap uh, cabinet meeting said this. He said, the Palestinian Authority's one-sided step that the UN constitutes a gross violation of the agreements that we have signed uh, as a state of Israel. Accordingly, the government of Israel rejects the UN General Assembly decision. I'd like to reiterate, there will be no Palestinian state without an arrangement in which the security of Israeli citizens will be ensured. There will be no Palestinian state unless the state of Israel is recognized as the state of the Jewish people. There will be no Palestinian state until the Palestinians declare an end to the conflict. Israel will not agree to Judea and Samaria becoming a base for Iranian terrorism, as happened in the areas evacuated in the Gaza Strip and in Lebanon. Strong words. Welcome words. I'm really glad to hear them. And they'll stick by. There's no question about it. But an even stronger case can be made, and it's always made, when the scriptures are cited, when God's word is cited. When the Palestinians hear that, they go ballistic. There's nothing they can do about that. You can't answer that. God has spoken, and he's not equivocated. Listen to his words, for example, in uh, Genesis chapter 15. Uh, on that day Yahweh made a covenant with Abraham and said to your descendants, I give this land from the river of Egypt to the great river Euphrates. Then uh, chapter 17, verse 7, he says, I will establish my covenant, uh, <clears throat> my covenant as an everlasting covenant. Does everlasting mean today? I think so. I'll establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. The whole land of Canaan, Judea and Samaria, West Bank, are at the heart of the land of Canaan. Whole land of Canaan, where you now, uh, where you're now an alien, I will give as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you, and I will be your God. God has not stammered. There's no question but what he means. And this word will stand beyond any of the hype 
that can come out of the United Nations here in New York. God has spoken, and it will happen. Till next week, Od Ki Yavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem.